Prime Minister Netanyahu arrives in Washington ahead of Congress speech. U.S. Speaker of the House Boehner says he doesn't understand criticism. 13,000 IDF soldiers rally for drill. In Star Wars style clip released of politicians. Shalom, welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. Here are headlines for Monday, March 2nd. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu arrived in Washington on Sunday ahead of his speech to Congress. His arrival comes as Democrats and Republicans are bracing for his historic address concerning Iran. Congressmen are scavenging for tickets to the event, which despite a boycott by some Democratic lawmakers, will likely fill the chamber of the House of Representatives. Before Netanyahu's flight, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry called him to discuss the trip, negotiations with Iran, and the possibility of a financial collapse of the Palestinian Authority. Kerry will not, however, be present at the speech, as he will be defending Israel at a U.N. human rights body in Geneva. U.S. Speaker of the House John Boehner on Sunday told CBS Face the Nation that the anger from the White House regarding his invitation to Netanyahu to speak to Congress is misplaced. What I, what I do wonder is why the White House feels threatened uh, because the Congress uh, wants to support Israel and uh, wants to hear what a trusted ally has to say. Senator Dianne Feinstein also appeared on Face the Nation but expressed concern about Netanyahu's speech. Uh, I am very concerned by that speech. I went to the speech in 2011. I didn't believe it was helpful then and I don't believe it's going to be helpful now. 13,000 soldiers participated in a surprise IDF drill in the West Bank on Sunday. The first such exercise in three years, the drill stimulates a rapid deterioration of the security situation and the eruption of a wide-scale Palestinian rioting. The two-day exercise organized by the general staff is designed to improve military readiness, particularly that of the Central Command. The ground forces and the Navy will take part in the drill. Israeli film production company Hafakot 101 posted a humorous clip on Facebook on Monday showing politicians battling it out Star Wars style. The clip shows Netanyahu, his ally Naftali Bennett, and U.S. President Barack Obama engaged in a Star Wars style lightsaber battle. Obama is cast in the role of Darth Vader, and he must defeat his arch nemesis, Obi-Wan Kenobi Netanyahu. Obi-Wan's brother, Bennett, comes to his aid just before Darth Vader boards the last flight to Tehran to sign the nuclear agreement. I've been waiting for this for a long time. Bring it. You could just walk into my Congress uninvited. And that's all for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more headlines. For now, Shalom from the Jerusalem Post Studios.